Hello, my name is Gaza and welcome guys to another video, dudes. Today, I'm bringing you how to escape the Osu frame drop hair. In just 9 simple steps, you are going to get smooth gameplay and no frame drops at all. I swear to god, 90% of the frame drops are going to be gone. 100% dude. So, to get started, I'm, I'm going to talk about first full screen optimizations. Now, you might already know about full screen optimizations and what they do. Dude, I'm telling you, it's a godlike setting that you need to have turned on on any of your games. 100%. So, I'm going to show you right now how to disable them, okay? Now, heading into my also folder, dudes. We're going for the EXE fire, we're going for compatibility. And we are going to disable full screen optimizations. Now, with step one out of the way, we are going to talk about some background programs. I swear, I see a lot of people talking about having frame drops, talking about having low frames, but they never check their background programs. I'm going to head right now for my taskbar. You see, I have a small amount of programs running, and sometimes I even close some more, like QBTorrent or Steam. I even close them. Even Discord sometimes, dude, like, I want those frames, those juicy frames. So go ahead, close some of your programs that you do not use, and I'm telling you, you will get a, a ton more frames, 100%, 100%, okay? Now, for the third step in removing frame drops, dudes, we are going to talk about the bloating and optimizing your windows. So, uh, I'm going to present you optimizer it's an app made on github i'm going to link it in the description so make sure to go ahead down there click on the link and download it it's super worth it i'm going to show you right now how to use it getting into the app you can see that we have a ton of options now do not get overwhelmed trust me it, it's it's simple app okay it's a simple app you just have a ton of text right here you don't need to worry about it mostly what i do right here is just Disable everything and legit check any setting right here because you don't really need this type of shit. So go ahead and do that. Now heading on for Windows 11. Again, you can check every stuff from here, every type of shit. Now that we are done with step 3, dude, we are going to talk about the most overlooked setting, the most overlooked feature that any app provides almost. It's Discord overlay. Nvidia overlay, Steam overlay, everybody overlooks those, 100% go ahead, disable them, you are going to get, I think, the most frames out of those, right? If you disable them right now, I 100% guarantee you that you will get millions of frames more. Like, I'd, I've seen frame times on Osu go from 1ms to 0.5ms just by disabling Discord overlay. Now that we are done with more basic stuff, let's get into the more advanced stuff, which are legit what I like, okay? I like this type of shit, so I'm going to present you some of the best features that you need to enable or some of the best settings that you need to change right now, okay? Heading straight into desktop, once you right click and go onto display settings, you might have it down here, I have it right here, it doesn't matter, it's the same thing. Okay, so just go on, uh, onto the desktop display settings, go on to the graphics and go on to change default graphics setting. Enable both of these options, these uh, two options are amazing for FPS boost, for lower latency, they are amazing. They are also helping with frame drops, so make sure to enable them right now if you can restart your pc and see how it goes okay it's a huge setting that needs to be enabled okay so go for it those two next setting honestly i do not recommend them for laptops at all maybe unless you have it non-stop plugged in 24 7 plugged in maybe go for it though i still wouldn't recommend them they can hurt your battery okay so be aware of that but if you have a pc i 100 percent recommend you go through this because they are some awesome settings and again some very good settings to get rid of frame drops some very very good settings okay so let's head into it now heading into the power plan we have right here here. I mean for me two power plans but for you it could be three four multiple okay you will just need to download one power plan which will make it go super smooth so going straight into the command prompt right here running as administrator definitely running as administrator go on and copy in the description I put it right there you will see uh, maybe a few lines down in the description 
a power plan ring okay this thing copy it and paste it right here into the command prop go ahead press enter so once i did that you can click refresh and you will see i have an additional power plan going on into the change plan setting uh, set the turn off display to never and it's going to be exactly as your other power plan but with better fps uh, less frame drops definitely worth it okay so go ahead make sure go ahead save changes and select it use this power plan now moving on to the next setting again do not recommend it this honestly i do not recommend on a uh, laptop not even if you have it plugged in i do not recommend it your laptop is going to get heated by this so do not go for it okay going straight into it you are going again into the description there is another power plan ring and uh, this power plan ring unlocks a hidden setting in uh, the power plant advanced settings okay so go ahead paste it in the command prompt again running as administrator and click enter go ahead into the change change plan setting change advanced power settings and go straight for the processor power management and the processor either disable you will need to select here disable either now warning if you do this, your processor will be sitting at 100% non-stop. Now, this will cause heat. This will cause power consumption to rise. So be aware of that. But doing this actually gets you way, way less frame drops, okay? 100% go for it. Yo, guys, it's Gaza from the next day. I legit just woke up, started editing the video, and dude, I realized I recorded a part of the video which was muted okay so i'm going to explain it to you right now dude um i was talking about cpu zero and how it benefits i would i want you to believe me that it's completely fine and no harm for at all so please just follow the video and it's going to be fine 100 percent okay Take of you guys see ya so in order to do this go on to task manager and what you will need to do is go into details you will be required to search for OS. Now, once you go for OS, right click it and set affinity. Once you click set affinity, go and disable CPU zero. Now, uh, you will need to do this every time you start OS. In order to dodge that, you will need processor also. Honestly, install processor also and do this tweak with any game you want. CPU zero on any game is actually such an easy fix for frame drops. Trust me on this one, okay? And test it and you will see for yourself 100%. Now, the easiest and simplest tweak that nobody in this world thought about it. And honestly, I rarely, rarely saw it in optimization guides. It's fucking amazing, dude. Join me on this one, okay? Heading straight into registry editor. You have to go right here. Hi, HK Rocker Machine System Current Control Set Contour Priority Control. You will go for Win32 Priority Separation. This thing brings the best, best smoothness and removes 99% of the frame drop. I am guaranteeing, uh, guaranteeing this. Most of my friends tried this shit. I tried this shit on any computer and I had zero frame drops after this. It's fucking amazing how this works. So technically this is using Windows timers and tweaking them to its finest. Now another uh, link regarding Windows timers. I'm going to put it in the description if you are inter interested in reading it. Go ahead and... Uh, into the descri description and read about it it's super amazing super amazing so now in order to apply this tweak and uh, in order to technically tweak windows timers uh you will go into win32 priority separation and you will go for decimal now it doesn't see it for me i have a custom os dude okay don't mind me so i am going to go for decimal and here you will have three values that i recommend using 40 which has the lowest smoothness fastest input delay okay fastest 100 percent now again the lower smoothness i don't know what to say about it 41 uh it has mid smoothness mid input delay the best middle round has re recommended 42 best smoothness higher input drag it's not really noticeable i go for the higher smoothness you can go for 41 you can go for 40 doesn't matter you just go you just need to go for one windows by default doesn't do put any of those and it's fucking horrible because this setting is such a good setting for games for games it's fucking amazing and honest, honestly go for it go for it dude like 40 41 or 42 again you can read about system timers in the description and you can set a value for yourself by 
reading and by documenting. But again, it's an amazing setting, okay? So go ahead and use it. Go ahead and use it and you will see your frame drops disappear. 100%. Now, these were all my settings that I could recommend. Now, of course, I have much more, but these are small settings. They don't impact performance that much, so don't need to worry about it, okay? Do not need to worry about it. Uh, now, more or less, I do recommend installing a custom OS, Ghost Spectre. I'm going to link it into the description again. Um, Ghost Spectre is a good, good custom OS that I recommend using. It's technically just a Windows 11, Windows 10. There are two versions of it. That has nothing, nothing, not even Microsoft Edge, okay? So you will have to download your browser by a Toolbox that you have pre-installed. That is the only thing pre-installed, a Toolbox. You don't even have Notepad, okay? So it's a very good custom OS that you can use. Very good, okay? I'm going to link it in the description. Now, I'm not going to get more in-depth. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys... I hope I helped you, you know, I hope that I hope I removed your frame drops because for me it definitely worked it I do this setting on any computer that I pray It's amazing how much it helps and it's amazing how many people actually didn't notice about them until now, okay? So I'm going to say it. I was Gaza and I hope I helped you and we're going to see ya next time, okay? Have a good one everybody. See ya